in order to consider yourself a positive person, you actually have to be a positive person. Too many negative Nancys out there right now. Stop with all this negative bullshit. I don't like it. You don't like it. And clearly no one else likes it, except for the other overdramatic, lie-living, overzealous, complaining idiots. If you got a problem, fix it. And fix it without fucking complaining the whole time. Your life sucks. We get it. Now go out there and put that fake ass smile on with that fake ass personality and show everyone that fake ass happiness. Eventually, it will become so natural to you that it may not even be fake anymore. Now wasn't that the point? Know your self worth. Don't ever settle for anything less. If someone tries to get in the way of that, take them down. Hit them where it hurts. Because though you're not karma, you ain't a nobody either. Those people who try to devalue you will get theirs eventually, but sometimes you gotta take action before they sabotage everyone else who strays into their path. Sacrifice your own well-being for once for the well-being of others. You'll see what I mean. If you don't like what's going on, then take a stand. Raise your hand and be a man. Be a well man. Just don't be a bitch. People who go down without a fight go down without the chance of being remembered. If you can think of someone who has a complete lack of respect or disregard for your well-being because his or hers is more important, then stand up for yourself. Our founding fathers did it, their founding fathers did it, and this entire country was built upon that principle. If you're not being treated fairly, then rise and conquer. It's like the Punnett Square from science class. Only happiness is the recessive gene. The only way to get that recessive gene is if you multiply the two together. So in order to maximize your chances at getting that beautifully recessive result, you have to minimize everything external that has to do with those, in this case, undesirable dominant genes, the unhappy ones. You see, if you want a life filled with happiness, in order to get that happiness, you must find another individual with that happiness. It could be a significant other, a family member, co-worker, or even a best friend. It doesn't matter. But when you find that other person or persons, your recessive genes will identify in one another. And that's when life gets fun. There's no point in trying your hardest to make others happy whom essentially can't even make themselves happy. You're just setting yourself up for higher risk of receiving that dominant gene, unhappiness, on the Punnett square of life. Instead, put in your two cents where you deem necessary for some and head for the hills. Then maybe there, you'll find that recessive gene you've been waiting for. And if you don't, sprint for the shores, visit the valleys, meet at the mountains, but live with that love. Then you notice one light, it always shines from above. It comes from within, from her, from him, put into the world and gets rid of the sin. If you're about good karma, loving good dharma's a win. Happiness may or may not come from a heart made of tin. But if you want gold, diamonds or platinum, for my Zoolander lovers, this here is Magnum. So get out there and study this Punnett square bit. Get up from the bottom where you feel that next hit. We all know it hurts and you've been there before, but tell yourself, motherfucker, get up. Let's do this once more. Persistency is key in this circle of life. Same with your children, your friends, and your wife. If you want success, happiness is the way. It's not confusing. You just have to battle for it every day. Literally. That's all it is. Happiness is a battle. And if you want to be happy, you have to wake up every morning and make yourself happy. One small thought in the morning can change your entire outlook on the whole day. If I wake up and I'm having a grumpy day, I get in the shower, I stretch in the shower, and I whistle zippity doo -dah. My oh my, what a wonderful day. You can't beat it, it always works. Not even joking. So, hope you guys take something from this. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Regardless, use it. If somebody you know is unhappy, show them this. For real. Like, I just want to help people. I was at rock bottom before. Everybody's been there. We're fucking human. Get yourself up, dust yourself off, and try again. Keep trying. Don't keep switching what you're trying at, but keep trying at the same thing. Find your passion, because passion is purpose, 
and fucking get it done. You can do anything you set your mind to. Much love, America. Aspirations to save the world.com.